Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of CB Book Club. This book club is a short video series that runs on CB TV and through which we simply wish to showcase our talented local writers and their work. Our hope is to let young people have an interest in reading and to simply get everyone to read books by local authors to fill their free time, especially during this pandemic. Today, I am excited to welcome Ms. Laurel Dago to our show, our featured writer for today, who has written a beautiful short story for kids. Hi, Ms. Laurel, how are you doing? Hi, good day, I'm doing fine and yourself? I am doing great. Let us get started. Please tell us a bit about yourself. Well, I am Lara Marie Dago, resident of Danbriga Town. Um, first of all, I'm a mother of two, two of my daughters, a teacher and a caregiver for 17 years, um, pre primer level, um, owner and manager of Destiny Preschool and daycare um, for the past 13 years. And last but not least, I am an author chosen by the Most High. It's very evident that you have a lot of children around and you clearly know how to deal with those ones. So let me just go into your writing skills. Um, did you always love to write? How did that develop over time? Writing was actually my word in class, um, surprisingly because um, others would think that, oh, because I'm an author, I must be good at it um, from probably from um, primary school, right? And that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. All. Um, writing was actually my worst subject at school. Um, but I had a first form teacher that motivated me because she saw the creativity you know, despite of misspelling here and there, she saw the creativity and that uh, motivated me to say, you know, there is something there for me, you know, along the way. So what contributed to your writing skills? What did you do to better off your writing skills since it clearly wasn't your first natural talent? First of all, because of the preschool storytelling competition, that actually is a big deal. Um, well, before COVID, it was actually a, a huge deal um, for the preschool teachers, right? And um, I used to, um, I participated more than once and um, won a couple of times. Um, but because of the, the type of stories, and um, I, I found out that the listeners, they're very much. Um, like looking for a better word for say um they were very much impressed you know by my writing by my performance itself you know and they actually motivate me you know more than once and say you should put those um you know get those stories in a book you know i heard it like more than once and like yeah yes you know um until that time when i say you know um it's time it's time enough that i get these um stories um, inside um, a book and here am I. That's perfect. When you speak of the preschool story competition, that's where I actually read your book. That's how I heard the book the first time. Um, what is that about? Tell us all about that because I bet there is a lot of people in Belize who have no idea that there is a preschool writing competition. Yeah, actually it's the preschool storytelling competition that is held um, in March for story um, for child simulation month and they're um, held by preschool teachers across the country you know and we have um, at least um, one representative from each district um, to come and re um, represent their district and tell the story so actually we'll need to write those story and put it you know, um, in our performance, right? So that's, <laughs> that's where it started actually for me. Perfect. You have written a couple of children books, so go ahead and tell us about those. Okay, so I um, have four publications, actually. I have um, uh, Proud Belize Toucan, 
this was my first publication, um, Proud Religion Toucan. And what inspired me to write um, this book? Um, because I want children to develop, you know, um, have an appreciation for their country, you know, their country beliefs, right? Because it's all about beliefs and keeping beliefs clean and all that, right? So um, I wanted my student to, to, um, to have an appreciation for their country, allow them to know that, you know, um, yes, this is our country, you know, we need to take very good care of our country and we have visitors, you know, coming and we need to uh, as well take care of our country and take very good care of our um, visitors. So I have this one with me, Ariel's puppy here. And this one is um, inspired by my daughter, Ariel. Her name is Ariel. And um, she had a struggle with what we call trichotel, what, what is um, scientifically known as trichotillomania. It's a hair picking disorder. And um, she got bullied at school, you know, um, with the way she um, had her hair, not necessarily had it out in a puff, but she had a low cut. And uh, most of the children found that, you know, um, funny and they bullied her and she, you know, um, you know, like um, any other parent, you know, I feel I, I felt that for my daughter and I, you know, don't want any other, you know, parent to go through what I went through or any child to go through what I went through. And I said, you know, let me put this in a story. So Ariel's puppy here is um, encouraging children that no matter what you look physically, um, they need to appreciate who they are, you know, um, appreciate people for who they are appreciate love them and appreciate them and look at their heart not that they can see their heart physically but through action they'll know where um, that person stands you know and look at people from their heart and love them from their heart so that this um my daughter actually inspired me to write this one perfect that is my absolute favorite of all your books um Thank so you. can you tell me what would you like to say to other authors who are at home struggling to finish a book and who are saying, you know, I've put enough time in this and it's still not perfect? What do you have to say to those writers? First of all, don't wait. Don't, um, you don't need to be perfect. First of all, we, we tend to um, think, you know, um, a lot ahead what what if you know my thing is to go ahead put your best foot forth and um you will be impressed by you by what you can you know actually um, come out of your writing right so um my, my my um my advice to authors you know you know put god first first of all put god first and um you know believe in yourself and you can accomplish anything and everything and what does these books mean to you and your family? I know some of these books are very personal to you because like you said, you've written about your child. What does that mean for you and for them? It means a lot in terms of um, not writing, just, um, you know, because my, my publication, they're all, they're, they're for sale, of course, but looking at the meaning behind my writing because all of them, you know, all of the books that I um, write so far, they are they they have um, the lessons that children can take with them forever. So um, for me and my for my family, it's like you know a lifelong teaching for other children, you know, and for generations to come. And how can people purchase any one of your books? Are they available online? Are they available in hard copy at any location in Belize? Okay, um, I have a Facebook page, Born With Me Collection, and um, you can go and like my page. And um, for most of my purchases, they are done um, electronically. I normally take others through my personal Facebook, um, Laura Marie Dago. You can send me a message and I um, can order them and um, get them to you, the hard copies. So I don't have them online as yet. Perfect. So finally, as is our tradition on CB Book Club, can you share a few must-reads books that you recommend with our viewers? 
Okay, I must be. I must go with um, Ariel's puppy here, guys. You guys, you know, um, I I need to promote this book. I, I I would like to have it in every home in Belize, you know, and abroad um, because it is a life learning lesson that we would we need to teach our children. So let's go with Ariel's puppy here. That's perfect. I'm happy that you are banking on Ariel's puppy here because, like I said before, that is my favorite. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> so, Miss Lariel, thank you so much for coming and sharing your work, your passion with us on CB Book Club. I hope that you inspire not only your little readers, but also other writers. And I ask that you continue to put in your books the lessons of life and continue to teach kids how to love themselves and how to share that love with others. So thank you so much for doing that and thank you for stopping by. You're so much welcome. Thank you for having me too. Viewers, thanks once again for tuning into yet another CB Book Club. Remember, we have an open invitation for any Belizean author who wishes to join us. Just send us an email to info at colorblind.bz and someone will reach out to you. So until next time, continue to read, continue to encourage your children to read. Goodbye.